right, we back. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been like a month, um, but like we said, now that we're back home, we're gonna do kind of one one time a month. Mm -hmm. So here we are. First off, we got a champion in the house. Eh, 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 it ain't me. It ain't me. It's her. <laughs> a fitness champion. <laughs> hey. How does it feel? Another um, ring. It feels amazing. A ring is coming up. I got two medals. Don't know why they gave me two. Right. So I was like, oh, y'all must love me. But they not. said, here's one for you and one for your ego. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like maybe I can, you know, like borrow it. Or like maybe if we went out, I left the other one at home. So if I lose it, I still have another mm -hmm. one. Like, you know, and maybe I can, like, borrow it. Maybe you can borrow it. You can, like, rock right. it. Right. I it. saw that. I said, mm-hmm, you know I'm going borrow right. it. Right. Now I got an extra one, so, <laughs> like, you can borrow it and whatever. <laughs> it, was, it was a good game. Like, overall, the season. So, I played two regular season games and then playoffs and then the championship game. And, honestly, it's been so fun, like, coming back to Finland and kind of, like, seeing, like, after playing abroad like how does it feel playing back in Finland and it's been like good to see kind of the difference from the last time I actually played in Finland was technically 2017 so like since then like how much it has developed like it's good to see that you know football here has developed and everything championship game itself honestly it was a little easy for us we did end up winning like 33 to nothing um and I think we went to half like 19 to nothing um but yeah overall a great game uh defense was on fire obviously we didn't let in any points and we only allowed 31 yards total the whole game so like defense was and it's funny because i was watching the stream and in the pre-game studio thing they said our box isn't our biggest strength so like how are we going to be able to what? play against this heavy set because they have this like heavy set where they technically yeah. take all their receivers out and they bring in like their linebackers into running backs and wings and stuff so how are we going to be able to defend that because our box isn't that strong baby we let in 31 yards and they only played that heavy set one drive and it didn't go nowhere and they stopped using it so i was like yeah. that's a statement <laughs> <laughs> that's nah. a big statement but for overall really. like the four games that i played like our defense did literally not let in a single point so like our defense has been on fire and offense bro i don't think i've ever been on the sideline as much as i was in the championship game and i didn't get benched because in the playoffs like pretty much all of our starters got benched like early fourth quarter but like in the championship game i think a few of our starters got benched like very late like there was maybe one drive that they missed like in the end but we was literally on the bench. So, like, I was just sitting there chilling. We was just talking shit because offense literally just kept moving the ball. And I was like, this is nice. <laughs> like, you get to breathe, you get to drink water. Like, um, yeah. But overall, obviously a great experience. And winning a championship. Finally, I have my Finnish championship as well. So, now the only country or competition I played in that I haven't won yet is america obviously the states and then we'll wear a championship technically but yeah. everything else i got now so <laughs> we gotta go <laughs> shit well yeah because I, I watched the game first of all i watched the game with finnish commentators you don't understand shit i'm like y'all right. i can't but i watched the game and i'm gonna be so honest like it wasn't fun no. <laughs> it was not like, fun. it started to be a little boring and the yeah, thing is because so the Wolverines was actually number four seed going into the playoffs, and they played an undefeated team, the team that was undefeated throughout the whole regular season. And somehow they ended up winning by, like, two points or something. So technically, yeah. they kind of made it by accident. I still believe that, honestly, we could have had a little bit tighter game against the other team. But then again, they did fuck around and lose to the Wolverines. So obviously, they okay. wasn't doing great either. So... But yeah, so it was a little bit like you you would kind of wish that a championship game would be a little tighter. Like at the same time, you don't want it to be super tight because like, God damn, I want to breathe. Like I don't want to have a heart right. attack. But like when it's already like 19 and nothing going to half and it's like they literally, the stats said that they only got one first down as well, their offense. Yeah. So it's like, but then again, easy win, easy, easy gold. Right. Right. <laughs> so... I'm just thinking, like, because, you know, a lot of the times people ask us, um, they're like, so what's the difference in level, like, being mm -hmm. in the States playing compared to, like, back home, Sweden, Finland? And we usually, you know, 
try to explain it. But at the end of the day, before this, neither one of us has really played in Finland or Sweden since like 2020 or 2021 right. or something. Yeah. So what would you say like now that you actually you were actually on because it's one thing we've seen it, but being mm-hmm. on the field, like what would you say was the biggest difference compared to like playing in the States? Yeah, I get this asked field. a lot. Yeah, especially now that I have come back to Finland, like I get asked that a lot. I'd say the biggest, like the number one is physicality. Like the way in the States, the game is a lot more physical. Uh, I would say that's the biggest. Like it is a little bit faster in the States as well, but I wouldn't say that's as big. Like maybe with the running backs and stuff, like it's it what like you have better athletes in the States. Um, but overall, I don't think the game is that much faster like it's not as big difference as the physicality but what comes to like honestly like football iq and stuff like it is pretty high in finland like we do get to do a lot of like fun shit on the field because we understand football to a level but obviously that's still like slightly higher in the states but physicality for sure is number one like i'd say like when i play in the states like i'm way more banged up after a game that i am here like even if i make the same amount of tackles like I would say I'm not as banged up here after I get yeah. like slightly I would say that's like things that I noticed just watching it is like you don't really even though obviously they hit but you don't see these like boomstick tackles yeah. um and then the one thing I did I think like I really noticed <laughs> I was so happy was because I feel like even in the states like you said with football IQ like for some reason, punt is, like, the hardest thing on the planet. Yeah. To understand yeah. the rules of a punt. Like, when to pick it up, when to leave it. Yeah. And I watch it, and I'm like, these girls actually know. They know when yeah. to, like, leave it, when to pick it up. So you can yeah. kind of tell, like, there is football IQ for sure. Yeah. And that's also, like, a huge part on, like, the coaching. Like, for example, our coach is, like, our head coach used to play in the men's Maple League for, like, years. It's actually funny because he used to play for the Wolverines. And this is, like... When I was like 11, 12, I was the water girl for the team. Okay. And we was like talking about it after the game, like at the after party. And he was just like checking in on me and kind of how I felt coming back. And we was having like a whole heartfelt conversation about like me coming back and everything. And then we just talked about it like, because he's never got to experience me as a player. Like he's known me since I was a kid. And he was like, and obviously like I've seen you play as a kid and stuff. And I've been around you when you were like 11, 12. Like I, I saw you grow up, but I've never actually experienced you as a player to like really see where your IQ is at and stuff. But it's just so funny to think like, damn, I was really your water girl. I was, <laughs> I was the number one water oh girl. God. I went to two Maple Bowls. We lost both. So that was also like for us <laughs> to finally win one together because mm-hmm. we lost two. Uh, but anyway, and then like our DC, like he's still an active player. Uh, he's uh, he's a linebacker for the Roosters and stuff. So like he's obvious and he's one of the best like players in Finland, like coming from Finland in the men's league and stuff. So it's like we do have like good coaches, which I think a lot of countries kind of they're missing like the quality coaching. Like they have, yeah. like they have coaches who have played, but they haven't necessarily played at the highest level or then internationally and stuff. Like it, it makes a huge difference when you played abroad. And that's also what my coaches told me. Like it made a difference when I came in and I actually like my IQ is still higher one because I started so young, but also because I've been part of so many programs that like every time I'm part of a new program, I pick something. So when I come back, it's like, I have shit I learned from KC, from Houston, from DC, from fucking Spain. You know, like, right. like it makes a huge difference. So I think like that also plays a huge part on like why the IQ here is higher because we have like quality coaches, most teams. Right. All right. Well, I'm happy for mm-hmm. you. <laughs> You're going to the UK. You got one more yes. game this season. Yes. So that was a game. Yeah, we have one more game. We are playing. We're leaving Friday, this upcoming Friday. Uh, we're going to UK. We're playing GB. Uh, and since, so it's the European Championship Tournament, but since Spain already won because the system is messed up and we play like these individual games. So Spain already won the championship. So now once us and GB play each other, the winner of the game will uh, end up second. So we'll get silver. So we're fighting for silver. So I'm excited to still get to play one more game before wrapping this season up but at the same time like I am kind of ready to wrap it up after that but it's gonna be fun to like play play with the national team for the last game and then 
travel and everything but yeah yeah so that's coming I'm definitely up. uh definitely jealous because i'm like how has it only been two months i feel like the season should start right now right because it's weird because <laughs> usually like we usually do have national team game as well like at the end of yeah. the summer so you'll still like practice and stuff right. but we don't have one so well that'll be fun yeah that'll be fun it should be a tight game as well because gb yeah. and finland i feel like we've always been very like similar levels right. like it could go right. either way so i think that's going to be a good game to watch as well we'll post i don't know there mm-hmm. there will be a stream but i don't know what the stream is going to be but we'll post it on our instagram or whatever yes. once we find out but yes. that's about it but back to you so how's off season going <laughs> yeah. how is um, life i'm in my like uh yoga housewife era right now mm-hmm. without being a housewife <laughs> with, with not being a wife to, <laughs> right with having to go to work and all that shit um but it's good i have had a lot of work so i've been working um i've kept with my classes okay i've been at my cycling classes um mm-hmm. my yoga <laughs> Honestly, it's like, it's honestly hard because I now, I, in the beginning, I was like, okay, it's nice to just go to the gym and do whatever. Right. Then now I'm like, I just want to get on a program. But I'm yeah. like, it's, I can't start a program now. Like, I can't do it yeah. for like freaking 10 months. Yeah, it's too early. Yeah. So, um, but it's cool. I'm just trying to like do things that also are like fun. Mm. Because I'm going to be, and I feel like, you know, like, we know this, like, when people, I feel like a lot of people who, like, my mom told me the other day, she's like, I'm so impressed about, or people are like, how are you so motivated? Like, how do you like going to the gym? And I love, I'm like, I don't. Right. Like, at this point, it's just like, the discipline has become like a routine. Yeah. Where it's like, I don't even think about like, oh, should I go? Should I not? It's just something you do. Right. Because, you know, we talk about that someday. Like, it's a good thing that we have each other when we're away playing. Because mm-hmm. one of us could be like, I don't want to go to the gym today. Like, yeah. I don't feel like it. And the other one's going to be like, no, like, let's go. Right. Because you don't feel like, I don't think any, you, I don't think any, like, athlete actually is like, ooh, I just love to work out all the time. Right. Not, day. yeah, not all year round. Like, no. you have those times when it's, like, more and then you have the times right. when you're not. Um, cause I feel like there's also a point where it's just like, you feel like you damn near have to, even if you don't like, even if you're in this space of like off season, you don't have to, but I feel like you sometimes feel like even like mentally you have right. to, cause right. like it would feel weird not to, even if you don't feel like it, like you still feel like you need to do it for your mental health and whatever. Um, and then but, just cause yeah. I'm not the person who's going to be able to not work out for like two months and then right. be right where I, like, no, I need to like yeah. still do something to stay kind of at the level that yeah. I'm at. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, you know, do my, do, <laughs> just do my thing <laughs> Just doing my thing, working out. Thing. Taking I, like at the point, I'm at the point where I'm even like, I wish we had like flag football or something. Yeah, just that's the thing. Like something. it has been nice, like just to have a few more games because obviously, like right. the WNFC season is pretty short. If you it compare like an actual football season, that's usually like at least ten games. Like it is pretty short. So to be able to add like for me, it's now five more games. So altogether right. it's what, like 11 games that I've played. So like, it's just been nice, like to also not get to the off season yet. So the, right. what should I do now is not as long. Cause now it's also like, I'm starting to look a little bit more forward to that. Like, oh, I can do whatever the fuck I want for like a month or two or whatever before like actually starting my off season. Cause I feel like, yeah, it's, it ends so early. But then it's like, you can start your off season. So there's just a long period of time where you just don't have anything. Right. So like, yeah, like you said, like flag football or something like that would be kind of fun. That's why I feel like, to be honest, because people talk about this all season in the WNFC, like our teammates and other people. And I think people are pretty divided on this opinion, but like how many games we should have. Because mm-hmm. we usually play, what, six regular season games. Yeah. And then it's two playoff games and a championship game if you make yeah. it. So you play between six and nine games, and I'm honestly I feel like we should have an eight game regular season. Yeah, I don't think yeah. six is enough. No, six is six is so like, cause it's also like even when you have preseason, like it takes time to like get the team together. Right. So like usually your first game is not 
the best so you would have more time and then also because i don't know like if it's because it started because of like covid and it was like i don't know or like it's always like i don't really know why they settled with the six regular season but yeah i feel like eight would be a lot better and then because we still do have like two rounds of playoffs when like in finland and sweden like you only have one round of playoffs right um, and then also because if you get injured, like, even if it's not, like, it's, like, a season-ending injury, but it could be because the season's so short. Right. But, like, if we have more games, you have a longer time to kind of come back. Right. Yeah. So, I think, like, eight games and then, like, one more bye week. Because don't we now okay. have, like, two bye weeks during the I think you only had one this season. Yeah, it might be. Because then it's, like, yeah. if you go to playoffs, you have bye weeks right, right. after. Right, right. But, yeah, so, like, one more bye week and two more right. games. Like, I feel like that should be – like, it's going to be a little bit longer. But I think I think the problem might be that they want to end the season end of June because certain states get so hot. Yeah. But I don't know if it would be possible to, like, start it early. Right. Or in something March, like – Yeah. Because I yeah. think that might be, honestly – because when you think about it, like, the way it was, like – like our Houston game, even though we was in KC, but our Houston game, and then like uh, our all, all pro game. game. Like if you think about our all pro game in Dallas, like it was it was hot in playoffs. Mm-hmm. Playoffs was hot, especially for people who played in Vegas. They say yeah. it was hella hot, like even hotter than in Mississippi. So like, I don't know, maybe it's that, but maybe we could start the season like a little bit early, because like I don't think starting like end of March or something would be like i don't think it's that cold anymore it's like, not that cold because you start you start at the end of march beginning of april here in sweden and feeling right. colder than like uh, fucking and we still, forward, you know? i think all teams still practice outside in the states right that's the thing because in finland you practice inside right uh, like in the winter but like you still practice outside we still right. have scrimmages and stuff around that year so right. like i feel like that should be right. i think um, it may be also like a financial part because teams can't afford to yeah that's travel around yeah i mean yeah. to be honest that would be one more away game if we if you add two more games like it would really only be one more away right. game which like right. yeah it's expensive but like it's but it not would like it would be fun. so much more expensive yeah and it would be so much more fun <laughs> right but also like if we just started doing playoffs like hosting like number one seed is hosting so then at least some teams don't have to pay as much and then those teams could have i feel like we could do so that okay if we end up number one seed we host playoffs for one team and then we help them pay for their travel so then we're splitting instead of both of us having to pay to go to a location that neither one of us is from you know so i think that could also like be cheaper because then best case scenario you're playing home twice uh, in the playoffs and you just help the other team pay a little bit for their travels or whatever. But I mean, I'm sure you there's a reason why everything works like this and we don't know nothing about it, but like, <laughs> this is just our two cents of right. how we would like it. But right. And we you never know because, you know, new things happen in the league every year. We never know what's going to yeah. happen. Speaking of not knowing what's going to happen, all the free right. agency. Mm-hmm. There has free been, agency like, is, I feel like, okay, first of all, I feel like when the season first ended, free agency went crazy. crazy. And then now it's like most people are just waiting and waiting and waiting, which I like that. But then there are people that have already signed. Some people sign as soon as they like announce their free agency. Like they never actually announced their free agency. They just announced that they had already signed to a team. And then there's been a couple that have signed now recently like sick signed with uh washington Mm -hmm. um but most players i think they are waiting uh around like tryouts or whatever which is good because i feel like you should take time to see where you're going who else is going there Mm -hmm. and stuff and i know some players are doing like visits and stuff to go actually there and like see what's up and talk to coaches and stuff and i i like that instead of just rushing into a decision based on what happened last year and what they've said now. Right. And I feel like that's, I mean, that's what we've been talking about. What is, that's a good thing to do is just look at what your options are. Mm -hmm. Go visit because it's one thing. And we know that from fact, like we've had meetings with teams and, you know, you try to kind of figure out who's staying, who's not, they won't tell you precisely. Mm -hmm. And then 
you get a feeling like they really try to sell themselves, but then it's going to be a whole different thing when you actually go there. Right. And you feel the vibe and you can also on paper, you'll have a great team of athletes and football players, but then they end up not being able to be a team and you're going to yeah. suck. So like just going there and being like, that's one thing that I wish we could have done. Not that, I mean, we've been lucky and ended up in good situations mm-hmm. and teams we like, but it could have just as well been the opposite because we didn't know the team right. at yeah. all. I feel like it would have been, like, we would have been a lot more at peace going into a new team. Because, right. like, when we went to KC, like, we didn't know anything about KC. Like, we have meetings with the coaches and then our, our quarterback, Nashi, and it's like, they were all giving us a great vibe. But, like, we have no idea what Kansas City is like, even as a city. You know, like, so it would have been nice, like, if we could go visit and see, like, okay, this is what type of city is. This is what type of team it is. And, like, this is how it actually works and, like, practices and stuff. Like, I wish we could do that uh, when, like, going into a new team. So I really like the people that actually do do that so you actually can find the right fit for you. And then also, like, when you make decisions, like, early on, it's, it's also, like, yes shit might be like this right now but shit can still change in the off season too like sometimes coaches get fired mid off season you know or the head coach might change or whatever the fuck where people start suddenly leaving like you thought you signed up to a certain situation and now everything's changed that still happens late in the off season too that still happens in preseason too sometimes but like signing super early i feel like you are kind of basing it more on last season, more so yeah. than seeing what it will be next year. But then again, I feel like, I mean, if it feels right for you, it feels right for you. So yeah. go ahead. Because at it. the end of the day, I think like the national tryout day is usually in like October or something. And then national yeah. signing day is not until like December. So it's, it's still January. January, it yes. Just, it's still like, yeah. what, four or five months. So it's kind of yeah. a lot can happen. And right. we actually randomly one day saw or found out that Atlanta yeah is no longer part of the league so so yeah so he Atlanta actually ended up losing two teams this season first Philly in midseason and now apparently Atlanta is not part of the league anymore right so Atlanta Phoenix is not part of the league but they have right. said that there will be another team in Atlanta so I'm guessing basically it's just an ownership issue maybe I don't know speculation but like I'm assuming a lot of those Atlanta players will go into the new Atlanta team just because it's the new local team but also we're getting Chicago into the league now and then didn't they make it official that there will be a team from Jersey New Jersey or something there was something like that I don't remember if it was official but I think so so we I think we're actually going to end up having one I think more that, team. Um, the New Jersey team might be for 2026. Okay. Yeah, I'm not but, sure about that. It's yeah. been kind of, yeah, but they said something about it, but that might be for uh, That's not the thing. Season. All these things might shake because if they get another Atlanta team, then yeah, most people are probably going to go there. Mm-hmm. But it could also depend because always when it comes to like ownership and stuff, there's always drama. There's always like right. people's opinions. So people might not want to play for them, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Like, it will definitely shake things up. And if they don't have a team, you know, the, all those players in Atlanta that play on yeah. team, they're good players. Like, they're going to go want to play somewhere else. We got the players from Philly wanting to go somewhere else. Like you said, Chicago, they got to, mm-hmm. you know, get players. And players are probably going to go there. Because yeah. if you think about it, when Houston was their uh, new team two seasons ago, they signed good they players. Lot, yeah, they got a lot of players. And I think a big part of that was... Not only it was because the former Houston team folded and their right. players like mostly went to the team, but also because their owners were players still last right. year. So I feel like they had the good connections. I don't really know like about the Chicago owners and about the other owners and stuff. So it's going to be actually interesting to see because yeah. I feel like Chicago, because Chicago used to have a team in the WFA that were really good and that yeah. folded. What was it called? Chicago Force or something? Yeah. And they Chicago had like really good players. So I feel like there are probably a lot of good players around that area, but there's right. no team close to them. We're probably, KC's probably the closest, yeah. honestly. Um, or like St. Louis. I think some players from Chicago. Yeah. St. Louis too. Yeah. But, so it's going to be interesting to see 
how that all works out. Because I don't think, I haven't seen, well, I don't follow them on Instagram, but I haven't seen them, like, really post any signings yet or, like. I haven't seen either. I mean, and the WNFC hasn't really posted anything about it either. Yeah. Because um, Houston started posting their signings really early. Yeah. Um. We'll so, see. yeah, it's going to be gonna interesting be. to see. But then also that's going to mix up the conferences a little bit. So it's going to be interesting to also see how they're going to divide that now. Right. That's what I'm saying. So you never know. Like, we might have a complete different, like, mm-hmm. setup for the season, depending on yeah. what they're going to do with the conferences. And I feel like they should want to kind of mix up the conferences. Because if you looked at it last year, like, four out of five teams in the Central, mm-hmm. two years in a row, makes the playoff. All right. So maybe we need to start mixing it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I would like it would be nice if they mix the central just a little bit, just so like, just so that the eastern and western also get this more central competition, and right. then again the central teams get a little bit more eastern and western because central teams always have the toughest schedules because we play each other, we play all of the toughest teams. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. But then and again, some teams don't even have to play any central teams. Right. Yeah. And then they make playoffs and then see what happens. But <laughs> I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I'm trying to find out what the central is about. But yeah, so that's going to be interesting to see. But also because, yeah, if Atlanta, if the team is going to be way different, then that's obviously, you know, if it's way better, then maybe there's like a central type of team in the Eastern if they, you know, stay there and whatever. So it's going to be interesting to see. And then where Chicago lands. And because if Chicago lands in Central, then they obviously need to move a Central team to Eastern or Western. So right. I do think there might be a difference, um, a little bit of difference. But we'll see what happens. But yeah. But yeah, I haven't really seen too much new from free agency. I feel like it was like everybody announced their free agency early on. And now they're kind of mostly it, waiting around. Yeah, I think in general, like this part of the year everything's kind of a little bit on hold like you yeah. know all teams and like the league in itself like they're all working back behind the curtains yeah but you don't really see anything or hear i mean we hear things but not official right yeah like, but there's not hearing, like little birdies tell right, stuff, but, like, but there's not really like official things no and then but probably, yeah because this is this is the time when the steam teams like start figuring out like financial like, stuff so like you, they can't really even, like, lock in players before, especially when it's, like, free agents, like, out of state. Like, you need to financially help them most of the time. So, like, they're trying to figure out their part on how much they can financially help and, like, what their resources are and what the sponsorships are going to look like. So this is really the time of the year when everything is kind of happening behind the scenes before shit starts, like, shaking um, and then it's just a lot of recruiting calls. Like a lot of free agents are just busy talking to different coaches right now, but you don't get to see that. Um, so yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, you had you had a what the fuck is this segment for us? Yeah, or or, <laughs> yeah. why the fuck is it like this segment? Okay. okay. So I've been noticing things because now mm-hmm. I've got time. Mm-hmm. why do I feel like why am I saying it I don't even have more time like I have less time when I'm here but I just notice more things I guess mm-hmm. okay Okay. so the one thing that was pissing me off that's why I noticed it that's why most things that I notice is something pissing me off yes I know you know when you're at the gym mm-hmm. and I'm like you're running a gym okay things are gonna break yes. should you not have somebody that can fix things cause why is this one machine broken for weeks and weeks and weeks. I mean, I don't. Yeah, get I don't know it. how that works. Having worked at the gym, uh, <laughs> right. we right. <laughs> Excuse me. So <laughs> we, I think we just even when working there, like if a client came to like tell us that something's broken, we had like a list where we had to write it down for the maintenance crew. But I don't know like how often they came and even checked the list. Like, I don't right. know who the people were. <laughs> I just knew I had to write down on a list of yeah. what's broken, and then eventually it should get fixed. But, yeah, I don't think it always gets fixed early. So I don't really know. Do they buy that service from, like... I don't know, because this one machine... You know, like, the cable one where you can... But it's, like, you can adjust the arms. Yeah. And there's only one at that gym. And I yeah. swear to God, it's been broken since I got back until, like, this week. 
them. And I'm like, come on, y'all. It, yeah. Let me, like, I'll just fix it real quick. I don't know. I probably, you know, ruin it yeah. more. But I'm like, I paid money to come right. here. <laughs> right. They that was it. So the gym that we went to in KC, which was a really nice gym, by the way, and mm-hmm. really expensive. Not that we paid for it, but like we knew it was <laughs> expensive, though. Um, but even they like, you know how they had like the bigger, like the med balls? Yeah. And like usually you can like slam them and stuff. Yeah. Or like they had like the heavier ones that you can like slam and shit. And then one of the trainers came to like tell me one day to like, oh, like they, they can't actually like they don't really take slamming too well. So like we're working on getting med balls that you can actually slam but like these are kind of breaking i don't think i saw any new med balls and i think that was like two months before we left but so also like, why would you have... fuck me in my workout then like you're but just telling you me not have... to slam it why would you have med balls and slam balls because this is not this has happened before because the gym that i worked out, uh, out at last year it was the same thing like you started throwing it and this shit start coming out eventually. Right. Why and are I'm you like, making med balls that you can't... Like, what are you supposed to do with it? Right. And I've tried different ones with different materials. Maybe it's just us and we're super fucking we're strong. We're just fucking strong. Can't but fucking help it. Different like, materials. And they still freaking break. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. I don't um, know. Okay, that was number one. Okay. The second thing that I noticed. So... <laughs> Going on a rant here. <laughs> I went to get a haircut, and I hadn't gotten a haircut in like two years. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was went... the last time in Spain. Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> this bitch, I was getting a tattoo in Spain. This this tattoo, and she just came to like hang around because the tattoo artist is a friend of ours. Um, and it's at a like a tattoo barber shop. And first of all, she's beating everybody a Mario Kart while I'm getting my <laughs> my tattoo made. And then she's like, "Oh, like, do y'all cut like long hair?" And one of the barbers is like, "Yeah." And then she sits in the chair, and this barber starts literally with the fucking trimmer thing. She starts, <laughs> and I have to fix it at home with fucking household scissors. <laughs> It's a way okay, he just Barbara he again. literally <laughs> just pulled my hair back and just went yeah. So just I was like straight. Didn't even check like, it how it looks in the front and stuff. Just in nothing. the back. Just <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> this is so not funny. really what I pictured when I asked if you could cut hair. Right. <laughs> um, but I guess I should have known. I mean, that's all I asked. Can you cut? I mean, it's a Spanish said, I mean, barber I shop, so what right. do you expect? So, so yeah. I went to go get a haircut, right? And mm-hmm. it gives me a little, like, so both you and me, like, we can be very, like, people, we, we're social, right? Yeah. But we're very opposite. You're more, like, when you meet somebody, like, the first time, you're more, like, outgoing. Mm-hmm. You can hold conversations. Yeah. But then you get, like, introverted. Most yeah. Of people. yeah. And I'm the opposite. Like, I'm a little, like, I, I'm really, really bad at, like, the small talk. Yeah, that's but, what I would say our difference is. I'm good at small talk with people right. that I don't know, but then I get introverted. I don't want to go further than that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now I'm more like, once I know somebody, I can, like, have a conversation. Yeah. But, and that's why I'm like, I don't want to go to here. Because, you know, you sit there. They put this thing on you. You look uglier than you've ever fucking looked in your entire <laughs> life. Got your hair, like, wet like a dog. And I got to sit there and then I know that for the next and I was doing like a big thing because I was going to like color it. I was going to do like Mm -hmm. a big cut. So I'm like, this is going to take a while. And I'm just like, I got to sit there and have conversations. And why is it when you're in a hairdresser, you open up about your whole freaking life to them? I can't relate because I've had the same hairdresser my whole life. So no. she just always asks, like, how oh, was okay. it in the States when I'm back in the country? But no, because this can, is, yeah. <laughs> I usually like have different ones all the time because I just can't yeah. be consistent. But why does this woman now know more th- about me than anybody else? <laughs> like, See, she, yeah, was, we I were having, that. she was so nice. Like, we were having conversations. We were talking about me being in the States and she had like, backpack through asia and i'm like okay cool this is a great level like we talk no. about our like trips and then she goes so uh you got a boyfriend this... i'm like girl wait what 
Like, why are we why are we talking about nah, this? You don't need to know about my private life. And I now like, that I think about it, though, I'm actually not great at small talk because I can't do small talk in situations like that. I can't do I, for small talk. I can do the type of, like if let's say it's a football event or something like you, we already kind of know off each other or we have something mutual. But yeah, I can't yeah. just not not to random people. Nah, that's what my introverts just shut up. Just don't talk to me. I can sit here quiet for two I'm hours. I'm perfectly happy with that. No problem. Right. But some people just feel like they need to make conversation. We don't need to talk. We no. actually we don't even need to say hi to each other. <laughs> no. I'm perfectly and, fine just mute, but... And I was trying to, like, you know, not get into the whole conversation, because I'm like, if I do or I don't, like, you I don't really... You don't to know about my relationship. Right. Like, what the you hell? don't, like, my man's my man. Like, you don't got to know about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, she goes... And I'm not, like, she was super nice. Um, I just want to say that in case she would ever mm-hmm. hear this, like, super nice. But she then, like, starts telling about guys that she flirted with, and I'm just like... But you know how people, like, mm. figure out, like, that they've been fucking the same person with their hairdresser <laughs> or nail tech or something? But I feel like but that's usually because they already been going to the same person for a while. See? So they already, like, know a little bit. But that's it's like, probably, I can't find out. We're talking it's probably first. the best place, honestly, <laughs> if you are, um, if you suspect that your partner is cheating you, go to your hairdresser and talk about it. Yeah. She'll know right she'll know yeah. especially in a small town like crosta yeah she'll know. Dresser, uh lash tech nail tech <laughs> really? they because even if because you. then there's also times when it's like i think i had a friend who i had a friend who was talking to somebody that their something tech was talking to also but then i think i had a friend who also it wasn't the hairdresser herself but it was one of her other clients but like they right. figured like this is the same so then she had that's told both of them y'all talking to the same man many that's shit what I'm saying. cause she'll know all of her clients who they like talking to so she'll be like hmm this sounds like that story like this is the same guy yeah. also and then sometimes they even show pictures oh this my man my man my man man no, oh but that's her man her man her man <laughs> literally also if I found out I was like dating the same guy as my lash tech or hairdresser I would never I either have to break up with a guy or never go back because she can fuck up my life. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously, one of them has to go. For me, right. it would be whoever I'm dating. Because if, <laughs> the, okay, if, if we're I casually dating, like, if we know we're dating other people, then I would maybe stop going to the hairdresser or mm-hmm. lash tech. Depending how they are, because like they could be, and depending how long I've known them. But if right. I've, like, recently started going there and I've been dating somebody and it's been, like, casual, we know we're, like, kind of seeing other people as well, then it's okay. But maybe, I don't know if you're crazy, so I might have to stop right. seeing you because you might fuck me up. But if we've agreed that we're ex- exclusively dating and I found out you're dating my hairdresser, fuck you. Because at this point, oh. at this point, me and the hairdresser, we're friends because now this yeah. is trauma bond. Unless they're still crazy and they still want to kill me or something. Yeah. But. I'd have to go the other way because, like I said, I go to new hairdresser all the time. But yeah. I don't think about my lash tech here back home. Oh, yeah. She she knows what she's doing. She knows what I like. She's quick with it. She yeah. great prize. Like, I can't find nobody else like her here. Right. Or anywhere else. So, I, I, it would take a lot for me to, you know, give her up. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but no. That's what I'm saying. Like, it would only, for me, it would only be if I, like, if I have a feeling that you might be crazy right. enough to fuck me up, knowing that it's not my fault, knowing right. we just both found out about this shit. Cause but yeah, I can't have her fuck up my eyelashes for life. Like now, I can't. No, that. that is not even fuck up your eyelashes. She could fuck up your eyes. You could be blind. <laughs> she <laughs> lashes ain't no fucking joke. That shit dangerous. Right, right. She said you ain't gonna see him no more. <laughs> yeah, you not seeing this guy no more. Matter of fact, you ain't seeing nobody no more. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's crazy. Nah. Oh my never. god. Well, that was I think. Um, that was a little bit. It's okay. A little vent. Um, so yeah. people need to get their shit together, basically. Yeah, like fix your fix your gym machines. Yeah. Um, just fix ex- your lives before y'all start affecting ours, basically. 
That's one thing I don't play with. Don't cu- don't ruin my life. Don't ruin my day because you can't figure your shit out. Yeah. Because it doesn't have funny. to affect me. Yeah, I'm just like, this came out of nowhere, but I know where it came from, which is funny. No. Actually, no. <laughs> I, it was very generalized. Okay. <laughs> but it, no. But it was, no, it actually wasn't that. Because I actually handled that situation very well and I actually handled that situation very opposite which is crazy okay. growth, growth young girl okay is growing and handling growing. life better young uh-huh. girl is no longer snapping at everything and everyone and I'm just um a lot more at peace and uh I've been working on my patience but you can't test you can't test you can't test my patience unless you're close enough to me yeah. That's all I'm saying. You cannot come affecting my life unless you're one of those, like, three people that are allowed to be on bullshit in my life. <laughs> yes. And you're one of them. So, but there's, like, literally, there's, like, literally three people who I will deal with when y'all are tweaking. But the rest of y'all do not come affecting my life with your shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank Anyways. you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all that's, for tuning in. That was a random ass episode, but um, that's kind of how it's going to be now because there's yeah. not too much to talk about. But if there is something y'all do want us to talk about, then just, you know, leave us a message. Let us know. Um, so we can talk about something more relevant. Well, well, you know y'all missed us, so y'all just happy to hear us talk about anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. See you next in a month. Bye.